Hi. Uh, you've received a lot of information about uh, the golf swing and some tips on playing the game. I'd like to speak to uh, parents a little bit. Um, the skills that are going to help you uh, encourage your children to play golf and encourage your children uh, to improve are the same skills you use uh, when parenting. Uh, there's very strong research that says if we keep criticizing people and keep telling them what's wrong, uh, it's not the most useful way to create progress. So the suggestion I would make to parents is you can make your children aware of what to do with the golf club. Shy away from, uh, shy away from the body. Always encourage children. Don't tell them they're doing things wrong. Tell them it's feedback, not failure. The reason we shoot basketballs up is the basket's up. Well, in golf, it's useful to understand that the golf club looks more, like, more or less like a hockey stick or a roof of a house. And the whole idea is to have your children return this golf club to that line. For 500 years, the golf club has come up from the ground on a roof-like angle. If the ball is going left, there's a good chance that club is coming over that line. If the ball is going right, it's a good chance the club is going under that line. And that's about as involved as I would get. You might say to your son or daughter, the ball's going left. Do you think you're bringing it in too high or too low? Uh, it's, it's, it's probably coming in too high, Dad or Mom. We've had more luck in talking about what to do than how to do it. The other design of the golf club is the shaft is designed to be in front of the club face. When we play baseball, the shaft of the bat shows up to the ball, not the tip of the bat. When we play hockey, the shaft of the stick shows up before the blade. Well, the same rule exists in golf because that's the way the golf club is designed. The golf club is designed to have the shaft stay in front of the club face through impact. So there's probably, when it comes to the golf swing itself, two things you can make your children aware of. And they both derive from the design of the golf club. The golf club sits on a roof-like angle, and our job is to bring it back to that angle while the shaft is getting to the ball before the club face. And I don't think you really need much more golf-wise. Think of the golf club as having three elements, a shaft, a head, and a face. And the shot I'm about to play tells me what to do with the club, not pictures of some golf champion. Pictures of champions are best used as motivators. They're not meant to be copied. Everybody has their own unique way of keeping the golf club on its path. Again, where do I want the shaft? Where do I want the head? Where do I want the face? You want the shaft on the roof of the house. You want the head behind the hands. And you want the club face looking in the direction you want the ball to go as the ball leaves the club face. And my closing thought would be, keep in mind, golf is a game to be played, not a subject to be taught. You'll get a lot more value from your time spent with your children, just taking them on the golf course and playing, not standing in one place on a driving range hitting ball after ball after ball. Lots of luck with your family, enjoying the game of golf.